with a playoff against Uruguay and a really tight affair it was too. Steve Walsh, now of Australia, of course, is our match official, aided by Jonathan Kaplan of South Africa and Simon McDowell of Ireland. Yellow-shirted Romanians get the game underway then, and immediately up there to put the pressure. That's a hallmark of their game. Mihai Makovai wearing six. Number one is that man, Mihata Lizar, Lazar, rather. But uh, first penalty goes against Romania coming in at the side. Manuel Caritza wearing four, the last man up for Argentina. The wind's pretty strong at Rugby Park in Invercargill. But no rain. And forecast either partly cloudy is the forecast. First touch then for Lucas Gonzalez Morisono. We know of him, of course, because of his two seasons at Leicester. And he moved on to Montpellier in France. Ledesma with the first throw into the lineout, a successful one. Successful ball for Argentina. And Vergajo at scrum half looking on. There's Juan Figao. First of all, being taken up by Gonzalo Camacho. Vergajo had an excellent season last season with Toulouse in France. Very highly thought of there. Signed an extension to his contract down there. On the chart, first touch then for Alejandra Campos. The change in the back row for Argentina. A good direct running by Santiago Fernandez. He plays his rugby with Montpellier in France, very highly thought of down there. And taking over the mantle of Contraponi is now his Rancero, member of this outstanding front row for Argentina. Offside there, bit of obstruction, crossing, but uh, the intent there was plain from Argentina. And there's an offside decision. Offside number two against Marius Tinku. In fact, the uh, the skipper for Romania, Martin Rodriguez, in the action straight away, but then accidental offside, bumping into his hooker Mario Ledesma. But the referee had been playing an advantage anyway. Tinku, like his opposite number, Ledesma spent a great deal of time in France and holds dual nationality. In fact. It's Martin Rodriguez, fullback against England. 52 penalties in that game, have missed a few as well. Two out of seven is ratio from that first game. So the first idea on the way this wind is operating. Looks fairly still as Rodriguez strikes the ball. That has missed. All wide of the posts, so the same problems for Argentina at the beginning of this game as they experienced in the match against England. And they really do need to make their opportunities count. That's a half for Romania. Going for length on this first occasion. Borgajo decides in the end to send the kick back down to him. Landing outside the 22, brilliantly taken by Camacho. Turn his rugby for Exeter this coming season. Switch of the ball goes left then. Janis Campos in the action immediately. Vergajo into centre field. Le Gizemon, outstanding open side flanker as well. Very impressive, good inside ball as well from Vergajo there. That's the Romanian 22, and this is a very impressive start indeed. Rodriguez. Argentina looking for first points of this game, making all the running so far. And the possession is good and quick, Vergajo. Here comes the try. Santiago Fernandez, the outside half.
first international try for Santiago Fernandez. Lovely rugby being played by Argentina, very much the favourites then in this game. And what a take that was by Gonzalo Camacho. And then the gap opening up. The outside half, Fernandez able to attack that channel. The problem area for Romania against Scotland, it's still a problem. Despite the fact they've brought in number 12, Constantin Gara, to shore things up in midfield. But it hasn't worked. Phil Rodriguez with his second attempt looking to add the extra points. Argentina, although they won't think of it quite in these terms yet, but they are a quarter of the way then towards the bonus point, which might well be very important indeed in this game. First of all, there's a successful conversion from Martin Rodriguez. Argentina lead by seven points to nil. Fernandez, key member of the Montpellier side last season that got to the top 14 final. 28 out of the 29 top 14 and playoff games for them. And started six times in the number 10 position as cover for Frandl. In the meantime, all taken in by Abismo. And it's very much a feature of the Argentinian game. Patience in building up the phases. That time, though, Bergaggio gives the ball away. So it's the first time for Romania to have the opportunity of ball in hand. Dimofte. Missing out a man in centre field, bringing in Dumitrash. Member of a very famous family. His dad's played for Romania before him. Captain of the World Cup in 1987. Luckily deciding. He was isolated there, though, and penalises him for not releasing the ball. Rodriguez eyeing up a position halfway between the 10 meter line and the 22. And the good hard work of skipper Fernandez Lobe resulting in the penalty then for Argentina at the end of the day. Mario Ledesma putting into the line out a day short of 15 years in international rugby. Coming to the end of his career, retired from club rugby with Clément at the end of last season, the hooker. To start Francais as forwards coach next season. Robé, the Vizemont, here comes Ledesma, looking to celebrate a special day. Wide pass on the right and it falls again for Argentina, their luck is going this, their way. And it's a second try of the opening minutes, Juan Manuel Vizemont. who's playing his rugby in Lyon this season. We know him very well, of course, from his time at London Irish. Bit of luck going their way, but look at the work, the hard work of the forwards, Lobbe Albacete, and then Ledesma in the first instance. The long pass, the little ricochet, falls nicely into the, the arms of Juan Manuel Leguizamo. Seventh international try, winning today his 36th cap. The crowd's just fluttering in the background. But it doesn't seem to be a bad day for goal kickers. Again, he's dragged it wide on the left-hand post. Still, Argentina will not be unhappy at all at the start they've made with these two tries. The unlucky man for Romania, Jono Timofte, the number 10, deflecting the ball into the path of Leguizamo. Two 
and converted tries. Here's then for Argentina. Yep, correction has come up on this one. 12 points to no. Unsuccessful, one unsuccessful. Taken again and kept in field nicely there in the first instance by Argentina. And by virtue of their hard work, they will, in fact, get the throw in at the line out. You have to meet up. Another record for Mario Ledesma, his 15th Rugby World Cup appearance today. Breaking the Argentinian record. He actually played against Romania in an old competition called the Latin Cup back in 1997 in Auch in southwest France. Seven times these sides have met all together. Argentina have won all seven. This time, Nicolas Vergaggio is penalised by nine. Steve Walsh. Uh, it's not the way I saw it. I'll keep an eye on it for you. Sealing off. Argentinians not quite agreeing with that, but uh, referee says that's not how I saw it. Towards the penalty. A little discussion as to what will happen here. Well, confusion in all ranks as to whether that conversion went over or not. The scoreboard again showing 14 points to nil. Marius <laughs> Tinku. This is rugby for Perpignan in France. Into the line out, first chance then for their typical rolling mall. Here they set themselves up, Romania. Rubio, a scrum half at nine, organizing things for them. Ovidio Tonitsa, another vastly experienced Perpignan man, wears seven. And as they showed against the Scots, very potent at this range. So interesting again, penalty goes against Ledesma. The decision here from Romania, what will they do here? Sensibly, they decide to go get for them. the posts and get first points on the board in this game. Just be careful in the rack. Yeah. Don't pick the ball up and turn it into a more. Oh, okay. 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 man with ball in hand at the moment. It's just a quick check. In the wind at that end of the pitch. This is rugby for Bayer Mare, former champion club in the northwest of Romania, near the Hungarian and Ukrainian borders, in the town, would you believe, twinned with Hollywood. A lot of Argentinians in the crowd. The flags definitely go up. Three points for Romania from the boot of Iono de Mofte. The scoreboard says Too long from the restart by Argentina. Giving the opportunity again for Florin Surgu. He's passed it back inside from outside to inside the 22, so Romania can't go out on the full. Nice take by Santiago Fernandez in the first instance. And a counter attacking run by Amorosino. Now that support is what he needs quickly, places the ball beautifully for Vergaggio. Great opportunity again then for Argentina. Pass looking a little lateral, but okay. Out left to Aguja. The prison all seven. Has a good open side flanker. Should do in on the support. Another great opportunity. Rodrigo Roncero, the loose head prop. Once of Gloucester. And again, sucking in or looking to suck in the defence. A little bit of over elaboration maybe before 
Fernandes Lobe again takes it on. Options on both sides, numbers on both sides. Inside ball again to Amoracino. Vergaggio keeps it going left for the moment again. Le Guisemont. Now he'll come this way. Vergaggio. Little ball in there. Figaio it was in the first place, the prop. Show and go again then by Santiago Fernandez. What tremendous pressure this is. Marcelo Bosch, the man from Biarritz. Suffered so badly himself with injuries over the years. Just short then of the Romanian line. Referee had been playing an advantage, it's now over. Can't do that. Penalty award though. He's against the Pumas. Not allowed to pick it up in that position. The ball was on the ground, it was a ruck. Penalty going against Patricio Albacete. Well, this was a great opportunity for Argentina to get that third score. But uh, the options not good. And the hands in there at the end from the Toulouse man, Albacete. Frustration on that occasion for the Argentinian skipper. Argentinian of all time. Off his kick. Taken very easily by Marcino. Keep coming. That's only again outside the 22, and it's far too long anyway. There's the chance then. Dimitrash to start. Romania's charge into opposing territory. Again, it was Lazar on hand. Mofte with the kick for position, but the bounce not really going his way, but uh, it won't go dead. Daredevil play from Argentina in meet. Argentina immediately then from Marcelo Bosch in the first instance. The handling wasn't too secure, but Rodriguez can take it on. Getting support, but Guizamont just losing the ball in contact. Referee had the chance to play an advantage, but in fact he'd spotted an offence anyway. Early tackle. Can you, um, Simon, I need that mark, I need to talk. That was an early tackle on that occasion. So Steve Walsh wants a word. And it's Constantine Gara, and I think the number 12 was being called to him as the early tackle. Coming up, I think it was on Leguizamo. It was. We're looking at yellow and red cards, okay? Make sure feet stay with us. Yeah, the foot was out, says Steve Walsh. And the warning not just of yellow, but of red cards, potentially. In that position, really as it is, it's a penalty to Argentina. He goes, good long kick all the way down then, towards the Romanian try line. Back five meters, anyway. This is the law these days. On the line, please. Argentina taking their time. Numbers. Referee six men into the line out. Love it with the take. Campos in support, wearing the number six. The blind side flanker. That's the Romanian try line in the background. They've had the first of two attempts from here. Now it's Leguizamo, opens it up again, then straightens up. Possession is good and quick as well. Albacete standing off, here he goes. And again, the ball is quick, great chance opportunity again then for Argentina. Up very quickly was Constantin Gara. But the possession is still there for Los Pumas. Offside. Offside decision. Quickly taken, Vergaggio! 
Now then, will Romania 10 meters back? Referee is playing it on anyway. That ball is down surely. Argentina on the complete roll then at the beginning of this game. First try for Juan Figayo, the tight head prop, who's come in to replace the legendary Martin Scherzo. Didn't have far to go, did he? Pick up and the drive, aided by Albacete on the try line, and that's good enough. Three tries in the opening half already for Argentina. One more for this very, very valuable, potentially valuable bonus point for them. Rodriguez. Not staying down. 19 points to three. Argentina lead. And Romania not in this game at all as yet. Now with a chance then to restart and under quite some pressure already from the referee as well. Dumitrash. And he start down into the 22. Argentina happy to build up the phases just over the 20 minute mark, just halfway through this first half. Camacho's kick, then asking Camacho to go up after it. Ball knocked forward by Lobe. Actually playing an advantage to the Romanians, that's loose. Carpo, one of the try scorers, of course, against Scotland, wearing the number eight. As the referee finally then brings them back for the scrum to Romania. Good chase by Camacho. And uh, Fernandez Lobe, his skipper, getting in front of him on that occasion and knocking the ball on. to the far side there for the check on the binding. Rodrigo Roncero from Argentina against Paolo Cajon of London Irish. We'll have to go down again though. Roncero, Ledesma, two parts of one of the most famous front rows in history. Also on the bench, the other long-term member, of course, but uh, ranking with the ABCs of Leicester and the Pontypool front row in the annals of the front row union history. Good scrum for Romania. Carpo controlling it at number eight as they drive on. Excellent scrum by Romania. They really do love scrummaging. Now told though they have to use the ball. Again, the pickup is by Carpo. Strong enough to fend off the challenges of the Argentinian back row. Ah, the ball is knocked forward though in contact. Again, the referee waiting for an advantage. Vargajo taken down. Oh, that's clever, but the pressure's up from Romania, so they have to come back. Real live wire performance by Vergaggio again at scrum half for Argentina. But, as you would expect of a side, as forwards, coaches and ex all back. And a World Cup winner at that. 
Number seven. And Steve McDowell. There. And they love their scrummaging, they've been taught to. No, no. So, a real challenge in the set scrums for the Argentinian front row today. Crouch. Incredible Touch. figures at the breakdowns. Pause. Oh. Argentina <laughs> in charge in that area in uh -huh. no uncertain terms. Shoulders. <laughs> yes. not happy with the binding. Of the two sets of front rows having a quick word, in fact, then with the Romanians in particular. Up. The angle. Square. Top Not right. happy Square. that the Romanians are coming in square to the Argentinians. Crouch. Lazar against the try scorer. Figayo on the side. And down in the front row, but play allowed to continue by the referee. Argentina looking to move the ball further in field, give them a bit more space. That's well done. Again, it's that man Figayo. Good supporting play. Lobe as ever. Good quick ball as well as they move into the Romanian 22. Lovely landled by Manuel Bosch. Marcelo Bosch rather. Good second phase play too. Leguizamo gets through the first challenge. And the physical play of Juan Manuel Leguizamo very much to the fore in the supporting role for Argentina. Try on the board already, of course. And Bosch, the man from Biarritz, doing really well in midfield there. Point here. Okay. Again, the referee wants a word with the front row. Not happy with the binding, it would seem. Of the Romanian team. Marius Pinkel actually made his debut for Romania back in 2002. His first two starts at prop has actually played at flank as well. Is running again. Nineteen points to three. Argentina lead. Coming up to the half hour mark. Three tries already in this first period. Touch. Pause. Engage. Plenty of noise generated by the Romanians as they look to organize themselves here. Now warned by the referee to use it. Pick up by Carpo from number eight. Now taken on by Tunitsa. Ball lost, but I think it went backwards. Suryu takes on the responsibility himself from the scrum half. And gets them downfield. Santiago Fillon, coach of Argentina. As his name suggests, a man with an Irish pedigree. In fact, both the coaches today, Roma Gontignac and Santiago Fillon, younger than that man, Ledesma. Again, the switch ball. Argentina move up towards the halfway line. Over the halfway line, a good display of power once again. Vergaggio changes direction, it's Bosch. From Romania. Bouja takes charge of the situation though, the Leicester man. Oh, unfair that time on Juan Figayo. Wasn't expecting that ball. Again, Morosino slipping the ball through. Good support play once again. Oh, excellent play. Oh, poor pass in the end, otherwise, Leguizamo. Might well have been in for a second. Albacete takes it up. Leguizamo still involved in the action as well. Vergaggio. Numbers on this side of the field. Make the ball do the work. That's what they need to do. It's a Morosino. Bonus point for Argentina then.
making his World Cup debut, Lucas Gonzalez Amorosino gets his first World Cup try, his third in Argentinian colours. And a man who came through a very successful Argentinian seven-a-side team as well. Seven-a-side skills are plenty here. Just the error on that occasion. The ball went backwards, though. Good correction. Amorosino actually played in the Sevens World Cup final against Wales in Dubai a few years ago. Try number four of the first half for Argentina. Right in front of the post, the flanks are up. Inverted try. A large contingent of South American fans witnessing a fine display by their team in the first half against Romania. And you wouldn't believe they were so undercooked, really, coming into this tournament. Just four games played in 2011. But up and running in the first game against England. And taking it on a notch from there as well. No, mate, no, no. And once again with the take at the line out. Bergajo, passing back to the 22, really. Might as well go for that little kick. And that's Camacho to chase it, and he's done so well so far in this half, but no, on this occasion, it's Surugu for Romania. Obviously, Bonch is playing the advantage to them. It's over now. Withstanding the challenge this time, Gal gets it up, white right, white right, and in the move for the second time as well. Best attacking position with ball in hand, certainly so far yeah. for the Romanians. Thank you. Right. Lazar is again the referee, plays an advantage. Good play here, linking play. Petre gets the ball out wide, try for Romania. Yonel Kazan with it in the left hand corner. as a replacement against the Scots, making just the third start of his international career today, Yonel Kazan, and in a good position to finish off the move, an excellent move it was too. His second international try, unselfish play by Christian Petre, feeding the ball, not the best pass in the world, but so much time for Romania to get over in the corner. The mistake, successful with the earlier penalty. Magisterial, you might say, Tiberius. Take quite an effort to get this one over. Quite judge the wind correctly. Gave it a good shot, gave the chance for the wind to drift it in. Didn't quite do so though. Romania on the try sheet. Only Argentina so well, but they've won the ball. Not the line out as well. Albacete wearing five, their main line out jumper. Manuel Caritza wearing four. He plays his rugby in France for Biarritz also. To the front of the line out this time, Ledesma round to support. Argentina's half-backs really probing and asking questions. 
in the Romanian defence. Shrill blast from the referee. There's the two skippers in the first instance in there to sort things out. Come off injury. Marsh calls for a time off. Chance for some treatment on the Argentinian side. Taking his eye off the ball on that occasion, Mario Ledesma. Spoiling the good work, the build up work by his halfbacks, Bergaggio and Fernandez, linking very well so far in this first half. Crouch. Touch. Pause. Engage. And I don't think that was quite straight, was it? No, this is the want of scrum halves these days. Feeding into the second row's feet almost. Kick is charged down, half charged down anyway. But it's taken on by Fernandez. Vergaggio slip ball again to Albacete. Up to the 22, Vergaggio, Ledesma holds on to the ball well, good quick possession as well. Le Guizamor, beautiful pass, Amorosino. Just a little isolated for the moment, but Vergaggio's up quickly on the ball again, the switch play is good to Le Guizamor. A really terrific statement of intent by Argentina in this first half telling the rest of the group we're in for the end play in this three again playing an advantage to Argentina we'll bring them back now though roll away the outside half penalized for not rolling away three or four Gajo just has a quick check with Steve Walsh to see how much time is left. Off his kick charge down. Martin Rodriguez up then, looking to control the ball. Forwards and backs again joining in so well for Argentina. And the lead is a healthy one for Argentina. Okay, hookers? Yes, sir. Good. In the shadow of the Romanian post. Crouch. Touch. Pause. Engage. Great position for the Pumas. Love it. Knock the ball on, did he? Referee plays an advantage. No. Nope. In the end. Pumas making a complete mess of that from a great position. All seemingly knocked on inside the well inside the 22 by Fernandez Lobe at number eight. All touched, in fact, by a teammate's foot, I think. So play allowed to continue. Two, three. Argentina, making a late addition to the line-out as Petre takes the ball for Romania. Looking to build up through Tonitsa. Just outside the 22. So again, unable to go out for the kick on the full. It's been knocked back by Gonzalo Camacho, no problem. Amorosino again with that little left foot kick, foot kick, beautifully taken as well by the fullback. Oh, excellent play, good support as well. Leguizamo, the pass inside. Vergaggio couldn't quite take it. Oh, another scintillating breakout by Argentina. The crowd in Invercargill being given a fine display of attacking, counter-attacking rugby. And Amorosino, hasn't he done well? 
making his belated World Cup start. Leguizamon then, Vergaggio couldn't quite take it though. Cool to say, Amorosino didn't have a great time at Leicester. Just a total of 13 games in two seasons. Another chance with a fresh start in Montpellier. Hidden shoulders. Rodrigo Rancero. And penalised. The loose head prop for Argentina. Dr. Roncero. Means though failing to find touch. Criminal really in that position with the liner to come. Again on the counter-attacking play, Argentina from inside their own half, Vergaggio. That's OK, though. Ball stolen by the Romanians. Again, the referee is playing an advantage to Romania. So even the clock, even though the clock is running down over the 40-minute mark, penalty will extend the play. Um, captain, best time. No line out. No time for the line out is the message from Steve Walsh. Captain, no points from kicking out. the touch. Okay. So they might as well go for the posts and try and get some points back. Post score, sorry. Uh, nope, nope. Damage limitation exercise at the moment, as far as Romania are concerned. Having conceded the tries, bonus point tries to Argentina. Good play that time, though. Good steal of the ball. Long range penalty attempt for Dimofte. Well, take it, uh, take the opportunity of going for the posts. No time for anything else. No question, though. That one wide of the post. Steve Walsh's whistle goes for half time. So, this has been a very, very impressive performance indeed by Argentina in the first period. A bonus point in the bag already. They lead at half time by 26 points to eight. Romania will come out with, and hopefully, Argentina will realise that they need to keep their game at the maximum as well. Okay, well, it looks like the Argentinian team are taking to the pitch. Let's go back to our commentator for this one, Bob Simmons. Looking forward very much to an, another exciting 40 minutes of rugby. If we can match the first half well, it'll be good, won't it? Argentina, just a couple of little snippets for you. Passing 10,000 points in international rugby with that first half performance. And a little something for Romania as well. Their last seven Rugby World Cup tries have been scored by forwards. Four from the front row, three from the back. But for the first time for a while, their backs have gone into it. Yonel Kazan getting the touchdown. Always the call from the Argentinians on the sidelines. And Jovidiu Tonitsa gets the first pickup for Romania. Had a stern talking to at half time from Romeo Gontenac, their coach. Steve McDowell, the assistant from New Zealand. Very realistic in his summing up that they were caught cold Romania by the start that Argentina made. And surprising, as Tom mentioned, surprising all of us, I think, with the way that they've approached this game. Just showing they may be short of a few big names. But the people they've got coming up in the ranks, like Fernandez, Rodriguez, good players, good international class players. Bouja on the switch, the man from Leicester. And he spent some time in France with Brive. Pretty much a second home for so many of the Argentina players, of course. Which is why the suggestion had been made for a long time they might want to join 
top five Six Nations. And cricket. You could easily have a base in Europe, but the decision's been made anyway to uh, invite them into what has been the Tri Nations. And I think there had been a feeling that, like Italy and the Six Nations, they might have had that invitation a little late after a purple period that they were due for a dip in their fortunes. Well, the players on display today suggest otherwise, don't they? The game held up for treatment then on the Romanian side. And this being very much a 22-man game, everybody warming up for the moment. You'll probably see most, if not all, the replacements coming on in this game. Christian Petre recovering slowly. And who now plays his rugby with Saint Etienne in France in Federal One uh, Division. Wash calls time on again for us to restart. And it'll be a penalty attempt Cheers. for Argentina. Getting some feeling back in that hand, Christian Petre. Martin Rodriguez from distance. It's on the end of his yeah, range, man, really, on that one. And then he was stretching a little bit to get there. Challenge for Argentina, of course, now is to keep it going. Great sides like New Zealand never take their foot off the pedal, do they, even if they have bonus points already. Great frown of Romo Gontinac, an outstanding player and captain for Romania. The defence isn't outstanding though. There's again Morisino counter attacks. Three oh, was nine. playing an advantage. Put him in the line. Nine. Leave them. Grab them. Getting the warning. Hanging on there to Scrum Half Vergajo. Counter-attacking of Amaracino, who's been outstanding in this game. And the boot going in there, there's the tag by Makovai on Vergajo. Again, the decision by Argentina is to get some early points on the board in the second period. Great kick on this occasion. No problem at all. First points of the second period go to Argentina. Extending their lead through the centre, Martin Rodriguez. Pretty impressive figures from Amorosino. 125 running meters. American football parlance. Good hanging ball, good play in support as well by Dimofte. Showing their character, Romania, and coming up at pace as well. Then the pick up and go is by Lazar. Sorogio, the scrum half, busy reorganizing things. Move it out just a yard, again asking the forwards to take it on. McAvey, six, stands off on this side, ready then to join in and take it on again. Tonitsa, with seven. He's been moved one out as well. Here he goes. Just wait. Sorry, guys, too close. Time off. 
decision by the referee, sensible one, getting too close to the injured player. Apologies. Guzmont, I think, down there, the open side flanker. Game will be restarted with a scrum. Obviously, a dangerous position, particularly for this man, with the Romanian forwards coming over towards him. Still wants the referee very much back in the centre of the action now, then again. Controversial career. And from New Zealand. Then lost his place after a number of incidents, but has resurrected his career via Australia. You have to say, doing everything to be expected of him in this game. That was the bang. Guizamon took in the challenge with Dimofte. Scars of war for the Argentina flanker. Come on. Happily able to continue as the referee restarts the game. Crouch. Touch. Then Steve Walsh comes over Course. to this side of the field to see the Roncero Yon battle. It's a good close look. Decides they'll get a chance to go down again. Augustine Creevy. Crouch. The placement Touch. in the front row. Pause. From Argentina. <laughs> have to go down once again, says the referee. Wouldn't the benefit of any doubt. Do you want to come out here? That Argentina might have taken it down as they were on the retreat. Early. Patience. Patience. Nothing. Good attacking position for Romania. Just crabbing a little though. And Surugio under huge pressure. His number eight, Daniel Carpo, had not really protected the ball for him. Romania still with the possession. Tonitsu seven again in support. Carpo eight is there too. Another metre further forwards. Small steps, but important ones as far as Romania are concerned. Looking for their second try of this game. Tinku gets it away to Dumitras. Turn of a ball for Argentina. Morosino long ball downfield. Sabagal. Same spirit of adventure, obviously not there in that position for Romania. All his teammates ahead of him. As we see the first raft of changes in this game for Romania. Florin Vlaiko wears 22. Valentin Popalan, 18. Popalan on in the second row for Petre, who was injured a little earlier. And Julian Dumitras. Dumitras making way from fullback for Florin Vlaiko. Vlaiko has played his international rugby at fullback and on the wing. Beautiful take by Albacete. Here come Argentina again through Martin Rodriguez. Again the ball is good and quick, again the support is there. This time from Roncero. Excellent support play here. On and off the ball, Marcelo Bosch on this occasion. Four tries and a bonus point in the first half for Argentina. Looking to suck in the Romanian cover again. Vergajo, the switch once more to Le Guisemont. 
Clearing up work on Tanitsa. Albacete again then with the pickup. Options on both sides then for Vergaggio. Comes this way, little kick over the top. Oh, and the bounce goes their way also. In the first instance anyway. Yep. In the end, not able to get the touchdown. But again, looking so dangerous in attack. And changes. Salo Camacho, I think it is, leaving the field for Argentina. Juan Jose Imhoff is the winger. Came on as a replacement as well against Scotland. Very famous name in Argentinian rugby. Former coach of the team. Again, Argentina organizing themselves. Their angles of running have been superb. Change then brings in a Gujo from the Guzman's pass. Vergaggio again. This time, he was lost in contact. Referee plays an advantage to Romania. Taken off by Lazar. Advantage is over, says the referee. This time, Romania can go left, reorganizing themselves. No great numbers out wide, though. Front scorer Kazan bringing in Carpo. Front scorer against Scotland into play. doing the hard work in the tackle area but well protected Versace wearing four but no lost Argentina the Guizamont again crossing the halfway line Vergaggio has a little look right Seems there's plenty of support there again the ball is inside to Rodriguez referee playing an advantage for hands in there now he'll bring them back for it. No. Rocket formed. Tinku complains, but the referee points out the ruck had formed. The Therefore, no hands allowed in there. Well, tighter contests. I think we might have seen some yellows, but. Uh, in the context here, Steve Walsh is refereeing it in a sensible way. Getting a little bit concerned, though, about the fact that so many of the Argentinian medical team are getting on the field all the time. The inside ball, but a good tackle by Makove, wearing six for Romania. Good position okay. again then for Argentina. Blind. Tinku and his Romanian teammates. The position to defend first Stop. phase. Argentina with the options in the line out. Patricio Abacete in particular. As Agustin Crevi wants to throw in. Tony Montpellier. Season as well, where he'll be forming an all Argentinian front row. Not another tradition in the making, maybe. He brought it from a back row forward, and we've seen him operate so well in the loose in recent games as a replacement for Argentina. Quite a talent. Won't lose his shirt in the process, in the process but uh, keeps his side moving forward. Now then, Vergaggio. That's your first opportunity, says Steve Walsh. Argentina inching their way on towards the Romanian try line. Vergaggio, a scrum half, reorganizing the men outside him. 
Lovely the skipper, wearing eight, next in line, lovely ball to Roncero. Romanian slowing it down, illegally, says the referee. And now the card comes out. Referee Walsh losing his patience with the Romanians. And Mahita Lazar is the man who's going to spend ten minutes in the thin bin. Sure. Scrum. Uh, time off, we need to get a, uh, so, another prop on, guys. Scrum's being formed, so the game will have to stop for a moment while Romania bring on a replacement in the front row. Silvo Flora, very experienced man wearing 17. He's the likely man to come on. Turn, then Romania obviously will have to sacrifice another player. Yes. Tinku just waits for a new teammate to join him. Yes. Last tango in Invercargill. Sorry. Too many, eh? too many penalties. Romania guilty of conceding too many penalties as they finally come up to strengthen. Through Silvia Flora making way was number eight Daniel Carpo. Crouch, touch, pause, engage. Argentina. With the one man advantage. Romania scrum goes to ground. One guess what uh, the Argentinian decision will be here. Yes. We go down again. Just confirmation from Juan Martin Fernandez Love. Gajo feeds. Again, it's an advantage to Argentina. So, folding out of it. One more, drop. it'll be a penalty try. Push forward. Steve Walsh just pointing out to the Romanians they need to push forward. Please. Under so much pressure, though, they're going try. down. It's okay. Gentlemen, 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 thank you, thank you. So again they go down. Third time of asking. Crouch. Going to next side with a big, big task in defence again. <laughs> no need for any words, were there, there. Santiago Felon, former World Cup captain himself for Argentina. Touch. Pause. Engage. Nine off. Argentina poised for another drive. Ball at the feet of Lobe. But unable to make the possession and the extra man count on that occasion. Brave, brave play by Romania. Still, Argentina move forward. Looking for their first try in this second period to go with the four in the first half. Again, the drive comes in, though. Good tackling again by Romania. But the pressure surely will pay ultimately. Sucking the men in. Amorosino out wide in hop. Again, staunch defensive play by Romania. Showing terrific character. Well beaten in this game, but still have their pride. Look at that once more. Take your hat off to the man in yellow. 
That is a terrific rescue operation. No wonder the skipper, Tinku, is there to applause. Although his coach looks distinctly underwhelmed by it all. Looked almost certain that Imhoff would get in, but look at the defensive play, first of all, of Yonel Kazan. Imhoff just not able to get the ball down. And then in consort, the Romanian forwards. Oh, that's terrific. Yep, even the coach applauds in the end. You're on. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Sorry. Being replaced Sorry. by Scherzo. Guizmo. Only the new man from the Wasps, Gennaro Fessia. He's down injured. Just bear with me, Brownie. Guizmo. Having been injured in the first half. Gennaro Fessia. Joining Wasps after a trial. And we're very pleased to have him on board. Just don't keep it at number eight for one day. In the victory over England in Salta in 2009. Okay. Uh, Fidayo, one of the try scorers in the first half, able to continue. Lobe's men <coughs> having to face a throw in from the Romanians on this occasion. Over the top, taken on by Tonitsu as well. And then the kick can take Romania once more out of their own 22. And you have to ask how much that was taken out of the 14 men of Romania. They're moving up rather gingerly as you would expect. Having defended their line with such great valour. Now Krevi. Good for a season for Clermont. Last season alongside Ledesma, as what the French call a medical joker. That's medical cover. Good, good battle again. Lack of control, rather, I should say, at the tackle area by Argentina. Knocking the ball on as well. Romania, who will get the put in at the set scrap. Konstantin Gara has been asked to shore up what had been a sometimes suspect defence in the game against after the game against Scotland, but uh, Argentina in such dynamic form in the first period of that of this game, asking so many questions, so many changes of angle. This time, Steve Walsh decides to have a quiet word with Florin Surgio about getting it in straight. Touch. Pause. Almost falling over there, the remaining front row. Steady. Okay. Coming up to the hour mark. 20 minutes to go. Crouch. Argentina leading by 29 Touch. points to 8. Pause. Penalty in the second period. And no more thanks to fantastic defensive play by Romania. The seven men again coming under pressure. And so Tunitsa, wearing seven, has moved temporarily to the number eight position. Just to shore things Touch up more. for them. Collapse more. It'll be a put in for the Oaks at the set scrum. And there's the hard work of Tornitsu, the man from Perpignan. No tries as yet to applaud in the second period. And so the crowd deciding to entertain themselves. Touch. Pause. Get. 
Finally, the ref loses patience. Divanche with the Romanians, quickly taken by Argentina. Crevi getting away from the tackles and driving on. Left ways come Argentina then, certainly in the first instance. Then the little switch ball inside. Again, it's to Inhofe. Vergaggio tells his men now to switch to the other side. Decoy first of all, Albacete. Five is in there in support. Campos also wearing six. The Argentinians getting ever near the try line. And the tackling is good. Argentina's captain, Juan Martin Fernandez Lobe. Failing to make the try line. And it's such hard work for the Argentina defenders. But three of them over there. I think there might have been a bang on the head, though. Painful all day for any Romanian player. for the time to be restarted for the game to resume with the defending line-out for Marius Tinko and his team and Poporlan the replacement Argentina really pressurising Romania here Fesia was wearing 19 the replacement offside decision against Argentina a little bit more relief then for Romania, Martin Skeltso, with a replacement in the front row, wearing 17. Big, big man, 20 stone plus of him. Please. Space. Space outside. So will form just outside the 22. Martin Skeltso had the distinction of scoring two tries against Romania in a Latin Cup match. The Latin Cup match I mentioned in Auch in France in 1997. Good competition at the line out this time by Argentina. Revi again takes the ball on. Again, the scrum half has options both ways. Again, the defending is good by Romania. Now Vergaggio can switch it the other way. Looking to take the 14 men all over the field. Make them work. See if the gaps will open up for Argentina. Running out of space rather though, so they have to set it up again. Vergaggio again, oh, does well. Opening up like the Red Sea then for Juan Jose Imhoff. Argentina get the try. His eighth international try. His first in Rugby World Cup. Winning his sixth cap today. And the pressure just had to pay, didn't it? All the hard work that Romania have put in. The straight running of Imhoff in the end, just too much for them. Scored four tries on his debut against Chile in 2009. Great moment for him. Are you okay? Evidence of how hard the Romanians have had to work. Lies in the bodies lying on the floor over the place. Conversion by Martin Rodriguez. So, could this try open it all up again for Argentina? There's only so much, there was only so much that Romania could take. Like, who just asked to wait, I'm sure he's quite happy to wait to get his breath back. 
22. Soft, sorry, it's a cut here. If he was happy, again to restart then. 36 points to eight. Argentina, Argentina lead. Romania back then to 15 men. Towards the end of the 10 minutes of suspension that they uh, scored the try. Vergajo, the scrum half, has done his work. Alfredo Lalan from London Irish is the man who comes on to replace him. And still time for much more. Bright, exciting start to what promises to be an outstanding weekend of rugby in this World Cup. South Africa, Fiji, Australia, Ireland. Two matches coming up later today. In England, Georgia, and Samoa. <laughs> Mouth-watering prospects tomorrow. Michael puts it on from fullback. Again. Sache going for the man held up. Now Tonitsu, a little slip ball to Carpo. That's able to return to the team then. Little one two with the Mofte. Creating some space wide out for Kazan, the try scorer. Well, you have to take your hat off to the Romanians. We might have taken a battering, but keep coming forward for more. Not being in Romania, has been a little in the doldrums, associated by many people of the old regime. When the old regime fell, then there were problems for the rugby community. Penalty award goes against Argentina this time. Lenaru oh, take for a little ride. <laughs> then let go. Let's go. So leaves the field to be replaced then by Valentin Calafatano. Number twenty. Experienced man to come on for Romania. And just after the Ceausescu regime fell, huge problems for Romania at the time. I remember Wales travelling for a World Cup qualifier there in 1995 when Wales played Romania. And there was only enough food for one team in the aftermatch celebration. The Romanian players tried to get the Welsh team forward. But Wales, led by Rupert Boone and Jan Evans, insisted that all the Romanian players came in as well. No, I don't know. Reset. Really difficult times for Romania. And in recent years, the international rugby board have helped with them. As they did with Georgia as well, sending people in, working parties in. Early. Yep. Too early this time, Romania, Argentina. Campos. Late addition to the side, the number six. He's done his work as a good number six should do. And it's the Glory Boys getting the opportunity, like Grevy. Coming on at the beginning of the second half. Is that, I think, guilty on the tackle on that time. That's Get Jonathan off, okay. Kaplan in Get the background. Okay, do you understand? Do that. Yeah. Dangerous challenge. Yep. Again, it's sensible refereeing by Steve Walsh. That's the spear tackle. Good kick down the tram lines then. 
further penalizing the Romanians. You have to wonder whether there was that much intent on Kazan's behalf to do that. It was dangerous. Maybe no malice of forethought, though. Albacete waits. Main man in the lineout for Argentina as Crevi puts in towards him. Great leap in the middle by Albacete. Provides the platform once more for Argentina. One further out and another. Fernandez interception. Now then. Here go Romania. Timofte won't go all the way. Looks for support, gets it from Carpo. Now then, Kazan. Lobby with the interception. Fell off the Romanian hand so we can carry on again. Oh, this is fantastic stuff. Fessia getting his try. The man from Wasps. As the play goes to one end of the field, then the other. Second international try and the first in World Cup rugby, rugby for Gennaro Fessia. Romania had pushed up so well, the interception came. Dimofte realized he couldn't go all the way himself. Good support then from Daniel Carpo, the number eight, looking to release the left winger Kazan it was a bit tight for space for him in the end though and so the pass in field was stolen by Fernandez Lobe the ball then went off a Romanian hand sat up nicely for Imhoff the little ball in field to Fessia second try of the second period for Argentina Off the post, and over, as the flags go up. Seven more points for Argentina. Sixth try of the game. An end-to-end -end rugby. No wonder he's disappointed by that. Keith, is it um, 18 for the blood bank? Okay, well, where is he? Has he come off? Okay, you want to do the other one now? Been replacement? If you've got time, we can do it now, please. Right. 43 points to 8. Argentina lead. 50 points in their other World Cup victory against Romania in Sydney. And still time. One more converted try will take them over the half century again. Lazzo in for Leandro Campos. Marcino using the left foot to good effect. Fed in by Laiku into Tonitsa. Timofte again spreading it wide. Gal. Lenaru. In the first instance, takes it on. Lazar in support. Called for the little variation, but in fact the kick was not a good one. Gave possession away again to Argentina. They in turn quite happy to uh, hoof it again downfield. Vlaiku takes his time. Argentina can take it quickly. Amorosino again. Then the change of direction. 
referee playing an advantage for the knock-on. Call them back now, though, for the scrum to Romania. Yeah. Do it, please. So the change on the Argentinian side brings on Nicolas Sanchez. Sanchez, rather, I should say. Placing Santiago Fernandez, who for me has had a very pivotal role in the Argentinian display today. New generation of backs for Argentina. Janus on in the back row for Macave for Romania. He can take a well earned rest at the end of this game as can his teammates after the work they've gone through. Alicatano unable to feed the scrum. So Steve Walsh will ask them to go down again. And this game may be over as a contest, but it's not as far as the two front rows are concerned. They've still got their own private battle to do. Patience, please. Patience. Yeah. I don't think, to be fair to a front row man, that's not his, uh, in his vocabulary, really. Argentina are penalised. Penalty given against Martin Skiltzel. So here come Romania again. Tinku, as ever, leading from the front. Slowing it all down there, Argentina. So it's Tonitsu again. Carpo, then the little kick through. Clever play by Argentina. Making sure there, Alfredo Lala, that his side would get the throw in at the line out. As far as the Romanians are concerned, They've always said that the game against Georgia, local derby, played on the other side of the world, will be the game that they aim for. It will be their World Cup final. Robbe, the skipper's moved up to the front then for Argentina to take that ball. And Crevi, quite happy. Just to take things along and run down the clock. Now then, breaking clear. Little offload is good. Aguja. The winger. Didn't look enough for support. It was there. Advantage being played again by the referee for Romania. Not releasing. Now Romania again will look to get down and finish this game in the posing territory. Nice pass there off the back of the hand by Crevi releasing Horacio Aguja. Hasn't seen that much of the ball though. Probably says he wants a bit more of it. Yep. Well. Bassetti about to leave the Sorry, field for Argentina. Giving everyone a chance now then for rest and also some time on the paddock, as they say in these parts. Well, they may be tra trailing by 43 points to eight, Romania, just the one try to six by Argentina. But they want to finish with the last word in this game. They might well do so. Nope, the handling error again comes in. So again, Argentina from deep kicking downfield oh for the field position outside the 22 and it's an excellent one indeed mariano garazza comes in to join the action Only 18 for argentina Lester the tigers faithful will probably remember him with him for a period last season garazza
Never mind the ball. Let's get on with the game. Argentina with the chance for one more try then to take them up and over the 50-point mark at the end of this game. It's been a fine performance by them. They killed Romania off in no uncertain terms in the first half. Winning a bonus point try. Romania defending with all their lives at the beginning of their second period when there was nothing at stake. Have conceded two tries. And they'll concede the third, will they? Steve Walsh waiting for an advantage. Yeah, I've gone into the red, but it was a penalty for a deliberate knock-on. Lobby! The captain to within a metre of the line. The last play of this game. Unless a penalty results. It is indeed. So they have to be back five metres. Argentina looking for try number seven. Aguja. Numbered out wide. Still opportunities though. Bruno Perizza four. Siding to play scrum half. Nope, the ball gets ahead of him. Campos. Trying six back on the field after being replaced for blood. Grevi, the replacement in the front row. And again, at the end of the game, Romania defend for their lives. But the pressure is still there from Argentina. Now it's stolen. Harpo, the number eight, gets hands on ball. Ball next leaves the field of play. That'll be it. Didn't have the strength though to kick it out. Romania, so Aguja. Aguja! Just ankle tapped at the end. A minute and a half and more into extra time being played here. Argentina still pushing forward. Ball was out, says the referee. So now surely uh, and Romania will just kick this off the park anywhere. Yes, they deserve their rest. They've battled well. At the end of the day, though, they've been outpowered and outskilled by an outstanding display by Argentina. Making a bold statement in front of their happy fans. Argentina winners by 43 points to eight. Yes, indeed, Romania battling to the very end, but a big win for Argentina. Six tries, plenty to celebrate in Invercargill. We'll have all the reaction and analysis, and we catch up with the Ireland team ahead of their clash with Australia when we return.